I can't wait to tell you about this powder. That's not attractive. Okay, Bobby, we get it. Here's the problem. Today's video is going to be a speed review of all beauty products. So these are the things that I've been trying over the last couple months. I've reviewed some of them in videos, some of them I haven't, but I'm gonna go rapid fire. I'm gonna try to do that, because you guys know me. I have a hard time keeping it short, but I'm gonna work really hard, and that starts with this intro. I need to stop. The first thing I'm going to review is my earrings. Did you guys notice? I literally got my ears pierced two months ago. I was finally able to change them out into hoops. I'm so excited. These are from Teeny Lux. I'm not sponsored by them, but I do have an affiliate with them because I reached out to them and said, I need to promote your product because I can finally, after years of not being able to wear jewelry, I get to wear jewelry again. I'm allergic to almost all metals. Gold, I can't wear mercury. Mercury, oh my heart. <laughs> it's not mercury, what is it? Nickel, oh my heart. They make medical grade titanium products. And that's what this is. That's what my necklace is. And that's what my earrings are. So I am so excited. I will link exactly what I'm wearing below. And you can use my code and get, I think it's 20% off your first order. So that's exciting. This has been around for a hot minute. Tartlet in Bloom from Tarte Cosmetics. And I have been eyeing this thing for months and I finally broke down and got it because I had some points available to me. But this is the most beautiful eyeshadow palette in my opinion. I'm wearing it all today. I love that it goes to dark, dark, dark down to really, really light. It also smells good. I'm not sure if smell is a good thing, but loving this palette. All right, I did a video of all Koki products. A few of the products I wanted to update you guys and let you know what I felt about them. When I did the video, I actually liked the foundation. I'm not sure what happened. It must have been a fluke day because I tried it again and it was so cakey and drying. I did try it again. Actually, I'm wearing it today and I like it. It's the Skin Perfect HD Foundation. I added a couple drops of rose hip seed oil from The Ordinary. It just thinned it out just enough where it glided across my face. It's not cakey. It still gave me medium coverage. This was beautiful with that. You might not want to even take the time to do all that, but I had it and so I thought I might as well see if I can still use it and it worked great. Another couple things that I used from there was their mascara. I tried it again. It's just not that great of a mascara. The only reason I'm going to keep it though, it's actually really good for my lower lashes. The upper lashes, it just doesn't give me the volume that I want, but it is, and this is the waterproof but the lower lashes, it's perfect because I don't want a lot of volume on my lower lashes. So I'm going to keep it for that. The other thing that I used in that video was their eyeshadow palette. The colors were great. They're on the cool tone for neutrals. The only problem was is that it just blended into nothing. It was just kind of muddled. I really couldn't get definition. Whereas like this, you can see the difference in my different shades. Like you can see that kind of ombre look and that's what I wanted. But this just kind of blended all together into nothingness. So this to me is just not worth the purchase. Another product that I bought but did not show in that video was the Koki, obviously, because it was that brand, finishing powder color correct and it's in the green and i was kind of wondering would this even really work there's so many products out there that claim to be color correcting and they're green and this is very green after i put all my blush on i decided to see if this would color correct and take the redness down and i think it really did so if you really struggle with a very red complexion or rosacea you may want to try this powder. I don't think it will take, like, it's not going to take it to nothing. It will help with that whole process of just toning down your red complexion. The cicadas are out again. <laughs> Since I did the Koki video and I did the Mary Kay video, I have been combining Koki's Color Correct in Peach, so this is for under eye color correcting, 
and Mary Kay's concealer. Oh my goodness, this is a nice little combination. Now I do know Mary Kay has a color corrector. I didn't get that so I don't know how it is but some of you chimed in on that video and said it's actually really good. So you may want to just get the two Mary Kay but I really liked this. This was very inexpensive. It wasn't cakey. Neither of them creased. Now I did set it down with a powder. Oh, I can't wait to tell you about this powder. But I did set it down, but honestly, like I do not see lines. I think it did a really good job. While I'm at it, let me tell you about the powder. This is from Uma. This powder is not cheap. The thing that's so cool about this, it has this like center area. When you turn this thing, it actually dispenses a certain amount of powder and you use that amount and then you don't turn it again until the next time you're ready to use it. This is such a fine powder. I cannot even feel this on my hands. Like it's just so finely milled. It really did take down any kind of redness I have and it didn't cake up. So I'm thrilled with it. I am going to keep using it. If I change my mind at all, you guys know I will let you know. Now I did buy another Uma product. I didn't buy it. I know I didn't buy it. It came in like, I think it was an Ipsy bag. I have since stopped doing Ipsy, but it came in that. This is the, oh, <laughs> I'm not going to say this out loud because I don't talk like this, <laughs> but this is what it says. Oh, here, I'll show you what it says. Okay, so that's the name of the <laughs> of the lipstick. I, I don't know, is that the color of it? No, this is the color Maya. I did not like this at all. I thought it was extremely drying and it gathered in on my lines. It's very much a matte. I think the color is pretty. It's almost too creamy for a matte. It would just move off of my lips so easy and oh my word, I just didn't didn't like it at all. I think brow powder is the key to making your brows look finished. I've been using the Sigma Brow Duo for quite some time. You guys know I have raved about it. You're like, okay, Bobby, we get it. The queen brand of brow products is Benefit. They have come out with so many brow products. So I thought I would try them. This is the Browsings Pro Palette. These are all powders and then these are actually waxes. Here's the problem. You're only going to use one, maybe two of these brow products. If you are my coloring, you're not gonna use this dark. You're going to use these two, that's me. If you're a darker toned person, you're going to use these. So why buy something why did I buy something that does all of that? I just, it doesn't make sense. The waxes and just kind of like coated my brows, but didn't actually hold them in place. Like they literally drooped down almost immediately. And the more I put on, the more it just looked like it was hair with wax on it. Save yourself the money. I did find a new brow gel that I am in love with. I did a video how to do a DIY brow gel using Schwarzkopf instant glue gel. I bought this tube on Amazon and you put the hair gel in this tube and then this tube has a spoolie in it. So this all comes empty and you put the gel in there. Not easy to do but it would work and I've been using it because that stuff was amazing. I have brows that literally stick straight off of my eye, my brow. Like, I don't get it. Like, why do they go straight out? And then the other ones are flat. I will try to push it down. And it'll go sticking straight. Up. Happy to say, I do not need to make this anymore because Schwarzkopf heard our cries and they made one. This is the Schwarzkopf got to be glued for brows and edges gel brows and edges. What does that mean? Edges. Oh, oh, oh. I think people use it like edges of your hair. I think it works like a charm. The brush has longer brush it on one side and then thinner on the other side. It works like a charm. I got mine on Amazon. I will link it where I can get it. So good. Got the CoverGirl Exhibitionist Stretch and Strengthen Mascara in water resistant. 
that was my mistake. I read it as waterproof. This water resistant stuff literally uncurled my lashes as soon as I put it on. Not a good one for me. You might like it. I didn't like it at all. Morphe came out with some new blushes. This is the Blush Balm Soft Focus Cream Blush in Mighty Mauve. I did not like this at all. The color is fine. It's very strong, but once it's on your cheeks it's really not that bad but what i noticed with this is this literally gathered in on my pores like i could see it sitting in my pores that's not attractive who wants polka dot pink things in every pore physician's formula man they're hitting it out of the park these days they're butter believe it plush in pink sands and oh my goodness i'm wearing it today very very subtle this is not a strong blush at all but it's so pretty so easy to put on just real subtle i really love this blush up by mario love this i am wearing this is soft sculpt transforming skin perfector and I have it in the shade medium. It is what I am wearing today. It's got a tiny bit of glow, but the cool thing about this is I focused all my attention down here at the bottom to get a contour and a bronzer underneath my chin and things like that. And then I got a tiny bit up here to give a little bit of a glow. So pretty. Okay, I bought for the first time blue eyeshadow, and this is Elf's no smudge matte shadow stick the key to this is to not use this directly onto your eyes i tried that and it really did not look nice i've been using beauty pie has a dual ended it's a shape and smudge eyeshadow brush and you may have another kind of brush that you could use and i just take this and then use that to eyeline. Oh, it's so pretty. It gives such a beautiful blue and it blends so easily. This gave me that subtle blue without looking like I was from the 1980s. And the blue is just a pretty blue because it's kind of a um, dusty blue. Does that make sense? It's not such a vavoom blue. Just so pretty. Okay, this is the Essence Extreme Last Lasting Eye Pencil and Waterproof. And I got this for my bottom waterline. <laughs> it's too white. Like it's, I thought it wouldn't be white because it's kind of a cream color. And I thought it'd be great, but it's literally way too white. I looked like, I don't even know what I looked like. <laughs> I didn't look pretty. <laughs> So yeah, it's waterproof too. It really stays. So I'm going to go back to Essence and see if I can find one that's a darker shade. I want to get one that's just almost my skin color, but just a tiny bit lighter. If you guys know of one, let me know. I thought that's what this one was, but of course you can't try it in the store. You guys are always commenting about my teeth and asking me, how do you get your teeth so white? I usually use Crest White Strips. They're gentle routine or something it's called or sensitive or something like that because I do have sensitive teeth and if I use them any length of time the normal ones my teeth hurt i can't even breathe in it hurts so bad they're safe for you but i know a lot of you have wanted some more clean solutions solutions that it wouldn't be so much chemicals so i've been trying it's called luminu certified non-toxic whitening strips and you wear these 30 minutes they do stay on your teeth they they move around a little bit more than the crest ones but they still stay on these do not seem to bother my teeth at all when you're done you you take them off you rinse it off you brush you're done and they keep my teeth white I, i've been happy with this they're not cheap so keep that in mind this is not a cheap solution if you want a non-toxic one i really highly recommend these speed reviews are so much fun i'm going to link another one i have right here and of course my midlife to fit life weight loss series is right here always i will see you maybe in one of those or another one god bless